find the work required by the force field to move an object along the oriented curve C. So let's recall from vector line integrals that work required by a force field to move some object along a curve C is defined by the integral over C of the force field dotted with the unit tangent vector with respect to the arc length, which we converted to the integral over C of that force field dotted with the differential d vector r. And looking at this integral, we think, hmm, this, this looks familiar. Right? What about if this force field is a conservative force field? So if the vector f with our force field is conservative, then we can apply the line integral, or the fundamental theorem of line integrals, and write this line integral for work as the integral of the gradient of our potential function dotted with the differential d vector r, which gives us the potential function and allows us to evaluate this at its endpoints because it is path independent. So, to get us started, let's see if f is conservative here and we can apply this shortcut. So we are given our force field in R2, so we have defined by the components f, g, where f is 2xy and g is x squared minus 1. And we want to check that this is conservative, or check if it's conservative. And so how do we do that? We want to make sure that the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of g with respect to x. So let's differentiate. So we have the partial derivative of f with respect to y leaves us with 2x, and the partial derivative of g with respect to x leaves us with 2x. Woohoo! So therefore, since 2x is equal to 2x, we know that f is a conservative force field. And so we can now go ahead and apply the fundamental theorem of calculus to find the work of this force field to move the object along our line. So we need to now, in order to apply this fundamental theorem, we need to find the potential function. So we want to find the potential function for this given force field. And we'll keep in mind here that since f is conservative, this implies that f, g, the vector components, are equal to the partial derivative of phi with respect to x, partial derivative of phi with respect to y. So pick your favorite component and start there. So I'm going to select, uh, we'll go with the partial derivative of phi with respect to x. So we have that phi is equal to the integral of the partial derivative of phi with respect to x, which is the f component of our given vector field, or force field. So this is the integral of 2xy dx. And integrating with respect to x here, we're left with x squared y plus an arbitrary constant function in terms of y. So we've got to find that function. So we're going to take what we just found, the potential potential function phi, defined as x squared y plus g of y. And to incorporate the g component of that force field, we need to differentiate both sides here with respect to y. which gives us the partial derivative of phi with respect to y is equal to x squared plus g prime of y. And we remind ourselves that since the partial derivative of phi with respect to y is equal to g, which is x squared minus 1 here, this is going to, or we can plug this in, to replace the partial derivative of phi with respect to y and thus solve for g prime. So we have x squared plus g prime of y is equal to x squared minus 1. 
And so we have found that g prime of y, if we subtract x squared from both sides, is just equal to negative 1. So we can now take this and integrate with respect to y to get that func arbitrary constant function g of y. So I have the integral of negative 1 with respect to y, and this leaves us with g of y is equal to negative y plus c. So we have integrated to find that arbitrary constant function, and we can now plug it in to our potential function. So therefore, the potential function are phi of xy is equal to x squared y plus g of y. So it's going to be minus y plus c. And so we are officially ready now to go ahead and apply that fundamental theorem of line integrals. We're applying this fundamental theorem of line integrals to get the work required by this force field to move an object from our point A which is defined as the ordered pair x, y, is 1, 0, to point B, which is defined in the problem as the ordered pair 3, 1. So, these are our endpoints, and by the fundamental theorem, we know that the work required by this force field to move the object from point A to point B is the potential function evaluated at point A to point B. So we have that this is x squared y minus y plus c, and we're evaluating from point A, 1, 0, to point B, 3, 1, and here we go. We have the first plugging our first order pair in, this is going to be 3 squares, so we have 9, multiplied by 1, minus 1, plus c, minus Plugging our second ordered pair in, we have 1 times 0 minus 0 plus c. And this leaves us with 9 minus 1 plus c minus c for a beautiful final answer of 8. So this is the work required by this force field to move an object from point A to point B on a straight line.